Okay, this is Dr. Raj of the Lifestyle Talk Radio Network. Uh, I'm your friendly, board-certified Beverly Hills orthopedic surgeon. An orthopedic surgeon is a surgeon who treats and operates on muscles, joints, bones, fractures, etc. My topic today is very near and dear to me, stem cells. If you all believe the negative hype from the uh, Bush era regarding stem cells and the negative stigma that occurred, you are misinformed. What has happened now is our, our country, our world has opened up to stem cells. Stem cells will change the face of all of medicine. Um, back in the 80s and the 90s, there was a significant stigma of stem cells. People envisioned stem cells uh, as chopping up uh, embryos and chopping up babies, which is absolutely wrong. You, you can get stem cells that way, but there are more natural ways now that we get stem cells. That we get them from amniotic uh, fluid, from the placenta, and we also can get them from your own body. Yes, your own body. I mean, your pelvis and your fat has highly concentrated stem cells. So a small liposuction procedure, we can isolate the stem cells in a concentrated fashion, or we could do what we call a bone marrow aspirate, which is basically taking um, a screwdriver uh, pointed uh, hand drill. It sounds, it sounds drastic, but it, it's really done commonly on on people for um, spinal issues or you know, for taps that are needed, and it can be done under local. And basically going through your uh, pelvis to extract these stem cells. Now, the beautiful thing about stem cells is stem cells, in case are cells that can differentiate to any, any um, type of cells. I mean, they're undifferentiated cells. They can become anything upon signals from growth factors or cytokines within the body. And um, we take for granted when we cut our cells, you know, how we heal. We just assume we heal. But it's a magical, magical process, and it is based on stem cells. So, you know, I'm an orthopedic surgeon. I'm in the field of operating. This in itself, this technology for orthopedic surgery will reduce the amount of surgeries being done in our field by 50% within 10 years. Uh, and uh, you know what? That doesn't scare me at all. What that does is that we realize that we're probably doing a lot of unnecessary-based surgeries based on the technology we have now. Now, four or five years ago, there was an exodus of our major league uh, athletes, um, Kobe Bryant, namely, who would go to Germany and Europe because the Europeans were doing this technology a long time ago and didn't have the same restrictions we had. I mean, the U.S. is the greatest medical mecca in the world. I've got practices overseas in Dubai, and people want to go to the U.S. for the top technology, but yet we actually shut ourselves down. Our government did. Our the Bush era basically shut us down by creating this neg negative stigma of stem cells. And our major league, uh, major league athletes were flying over to Germany getting this technology done. Now, we've all had issues with shoulder bursitis, and we've all had, we've heard of knee meniscal issues. A lot of these simple, simple issues which lead on to surgery, which are significantly painful, can be treated by stem cell treatment. And this has opened up the whole field of orthopedics. And, you know, more and more clinics are doing stem cells because I started doing this about eight or nine months ago because um, the application and the usability via the bone marrow is an ex accepted form of treatment. So... We take these, so if you have a shoulder bursitis or a rotator cuff tear and it's not displaced, imagine just getting your stem cells concentrated from your pelvis. That takes about five minutes. 
taking that concentrated stem cells, which basically, and then injecting it into a site of damage. I've had patients say to me afterwards, because it's a highly concentrated form of stem cells, they've stated that they've not only did it help their shoulder or help their knee, the area that was injected, they felt much more energy, they felt better. So this technology is absolutely outstanding. I have a friend of mine who, his name's Eli, this is a 35-year-old weightlifter, bodybuilder, model. This, this guy actually was at 12 years of pain in his shoulder. He ended up having two surgeries on his shoulder for rotator cuff uh, tears. And he was not able to weight lift properly. He was loading his shoulder abnormally. And what had happened was um, after two surgeries, and imagine all the money that was spent on these surgeries, two failed surgeries, and the pain, pain and suffering, which you, you can't put a financial dollar amount on pain and suffering. He actually um, just gave up just realize that I'm just not going to lift with my right shoulder. <laughs> it's incredible. You can see the difference when you looked at him. So we did a stem cell injection on him when this technology was first out and allowed. And within three days' time, he, was, he started lifting, started doing better. Um, it is a strong anti-inflammatory. And to this day, um, probably six months later, he invited me to the gym. The first thing I told him is I said, Eli, slow down. But the point is, this technology, the way this is going to change medicine, all these unnecessary surgeries that are being done, all this money that's being wasted, I mean, think about it. A simple stem cell injection can change your whole life, as it did with Eli. I mean, I've never seen a grown man cry, but when I saw Eli two months afterwards doing what he loved, weightlifting, I saw tears coming down. It was, it was, it was, it was a magical moment amongst uh, seeing this because it has changed, changed his life. So if you, you know, if you believe all the negative hype from the Bush era on stem cell research, you are definitely misinformed. You need to open up your ears and, and eyes and be proactive and get involved in this technology, support people and groups that are, uh, that are going to change our society for the better and uh, change us all for the better. Um, this is Dr. Raj from the Lifestyle Talk Radio Network. You just listened to a stem cell segment. Stay tuned as we talk about weekend warriors and a new... The, the new epidemic of injuries that are happening oh, because of this. Uh, and call in at 888-854-3378 for questions. Thank you. The following from News Broadcast Network. The Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America releases its national report, The State Honor Roll of Asthma and Allergy Policies for Schools. Charlotte Collins of the Asthma and Allergy Foundation. All states but one allow students to use epinephrine auto-injectors at school. And that's good news for parents, but there's still a long way to go before every state fully protects these kids at school. To see the full report, visit statehonorroll.org. I'm John Tridden. It's not too late to book a summer vacation and take advantage of great deals. Travel expert Lynn O'Rourke Hayes says you just have to know where to look. For lodging, RoomKey.com, founded by hoteliers, lets you search trusted hotel brands in one location. Also, Orlando has great discounts from August 15th through September 30th at visitorlando.com. And to capture those vacation memories, the LG Optimus G Pro has a powerful 13-megapixel camera. For more, visit familytravel.com. I'm Lee Schemmer. The following is provided by News Broadcast Network. Preteens and teens tend to have fewer regular visits.